the reason why I felt compelled to come out and do this today is because um, biological men are allowed to compete in women's sports and they're dominating them in that field. And I do think that it is unfair. Um, a biological man competed against a woman at kickboxing championship and he fractured her skull. Um, what do you think about that? And again, I think that that's what stems from this. Uh, well, first off, it does not stem from that. That has nothing to do with trans people at all. But if you're identifying as a woman, then you're allowed to go play in women's sports and then you're dominating the field in it. And you're taking away again from women's exclusive struggles, having periods, giving Okay, birth. listen, no man wants to have a period. No man is sitting there like, oh, I want to have a period because I'm going to take this away from women. But no That's man true. has a period. Yes, they do. Men have periods. Because Biological men, men don't have periods, though. Some men have vaginas. Okay, but biological men do not. If you identify that way in your gender, then yes. But biologically, can we agree, if you have a dick, you can't have a period? If you have a dick, you cannot have a period. However, if you are a man, that just because you have a dick does not make, that, make you a man. Just because you have a vagina, it does not make you a woman. So there's obviously a lot of things that I can say about this, but the main thing that I want to bring up is the hypocrisy in so many people. And what I'm talking about is many of these people, and there are millions of them, many of them, on some subjects, they'll say, well, follow the science. We trust the science. But then when you pull the card on them on this subject or other subjects, you say, well, what does the science say on this? Well, it doesn't really matter. That doesn't count. You see, so it's only picking and choosing when to follow the science. And I'll just say this, that this is where we end up when we disobey or we don't acknowledge the natural order that God has put into place. We are all born in a sinful world in sinful flesh, as the Bible puts it, and we will all have thoughts from time to time that we should not obey. We might all have feelings from time to time that we should not follow, but this is what happens when you take all those thoughts and those feelings from the sinful world and the sinful flesh, and you say, yes, these are good things. Let's embrace them. It's total confusion. And this is where the word Babylon comes from, because the word babble is in there. What is babbling? Babbling is when you're babbling on and you're not making any sense and it's total confusion. Babble on. That is what this is. And it's very interesting to me that the word that they use is trans, trans men, trans women, transhumanism, transgender. Well, what is a trance? A trance is when you're in a trance. And the other way to use trans, not trance, but trans, is to ascend above. So literally what you're saying when you're saying I'm a trans woman or trans man or transhumanism is I'm ascending above human. I'm ascending above being a man or I'm ascending above being a woman. I'm more than human. I'm more than just to be what God created me to be. And this goes back to the garden. Everything always goes back to the garden. Thou shall be as gods. Make up your own right and wrong. Make up your own order above what God created you to be. So just to end with uh, letting people know that this is exactly what the Bible says the last days would look like before earth would come under such great judgment and wrath, which some of that is already here. But God said it would be just like Sodom and Gomorrah and the days of Noah and Babylon. So we all know what all that is about, those of us who understand the Bible just a little bit. So... This is millions and millions and millions of people. And once the Christians are removed in the rapture, then there is, again, the explosion of this. Can you imagine? 
Can you imagine what is going to happen when that happens? Right now, there's, I guess you could say, the Christians are hindering this. But once they're taken out of the way, oh, forget about it. It's all over for the world. What? It can't be the rapture. If this were the rapture, I'd be floating up there. And so would the slow janitor. Actually, I never truly accepted Jesus into my heart. Kids, I'm Rick of the Raptor, here to tell you about the rapture. The rapture is the beginning of the end of the world. It starts with all true Christians floating up to heaven. What about the sinners that are left behind? Well, Jojo, they get to witness the second coming of Jesus. They put it in their predictive programming all over the place. This is Family Guy. It's in The Simpsons. It's going to happen. I've made videos about it. It's going to be in 2025, and the world is going to be lied to about that, too. Just like the world is being lied to about all kinds of things, they're possibly going to say, oh, it was aliens that abducted them. Or they're going to say it was some kind of shift in the polar regions or a pole shift or whatever they're going to say. They're just going to lie to the world to keep the, the lie going, and it's going to be a stronger and stronger delusion. Now think about the clip that you just watched about the person saying, well, you know, a man is not a man or a woman is not a woman. Men can have periods. Do you think that people like that are just going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, we're going to accept the truth now. And that was the rapture. We better be good. No, they're just going to go with the lies. If you can't just accept basic common sense, basic science, basic truth. Then when something massive happens like that, you're not going to accept the truth then. You're so far gone already that you're just going to go even farther off the cliff. So again, that is what the majority of humanity is going to be like. The majority of humanity that is left behind is not waiting to get saved and believe the truth. They're waiting for some more lies to twist and to just go further and further out in left field. Some people think, oh, when the rapture happens, so many people are going to wake up. No, it's the exact opposite. When the rapture happens, that's evidence that most of the people were left behind, rejected Jesus already, rejected the truth already, and are not interested in the truth. So when this happens, they want more lies. So I'll end the video with a small story that is personal to me. I knew a person. They were very close to me. Got to know them very well. Well, fairly well. And they were very open with me, and they said they did it all. They lived that life. You know, the life that we watch movies about, where these guys, you know, they'll just do whatever they want to do. Whatever they got to do, they'll do it. They like doing it. That life. I don't have to be too specific, right? So they said that they lived that life, and that they ain't worried. Smile now, smile later. Usually the same goes smile now, cry later. This person told me, no, but smile now and smile later. Let me tell you something. Whether you're saved and you're just making mistakes on the wrong path or you're unsaved and you could care less and does, you don't even think about heaven or hell. Either way, if you live that life, you're not going to smile now and smile later. That's a guarantee from God because the unsaved person ends up in hell and ain't nobody smiling in hell. And the saved person loses all kinds of rewards in heaven for what they did down here on earth. So there is no smile now, smile later, unless you're trying to repent, unless you're trying to be good. That's it. You don't smile now and smile later unless you're doing that. There is definitely people smiling now and crying later because they ended up in hell or because they ended up in heaven and lost all kinds of rewards God showed this path that he set out for him, and he showed how they rejected it all and everything that he had for them, and there's nothing left now. They they send it all away. So either way, I'll leave you with you guys with that. 